reports residents of Ashaman have welcomed the immediate resumption in construction of the 13-kilometer Ashaman Dual Carriageway a day after protests against poor road infrastructure and they have challenged city authorities to ensure work is completed and not shoddy. Meanwhile, the municipal chief executive, Numo Adinote Addison, has promised funds will be secured to complete the project before the close of the year. And we also understand that four suspects out of the 11 suspects detained from the Ashaman Youth protests are to be processed for court. Meanwhile, three persons, including a policeman who were injured in the protest, are responding to treatment. And the Divisional Police Commander Chief Superintendent David Eklu has assured police presence will be intensified to control the situation. But we understand that residents of Ashaman have welcomed the meeting date resumption in the construction of the 13 kilometer Ashaman dual carriage road a day after protest against poor road infrastructure and they have challenged city authorities to ensure work is completed on shadow and not shoddy. Meanwhile the municipal chief executive Numo Adinote Addison has promised funds will be secured to complete the project before the close of the year and four suspects out of the 11 suspects detained from the Sherman Youth Protest are to be processed for court. Meanwhile, three persons, including a policeman who were injured in the protest, are responding to treatment. And Divisional Police Commander, the Chief Superintendent David Eklu, has assured police presence will be intensified to control the situation. Still watching midday live on TV3 and residents of Ashaman have welcomed the immediate resumption in the construction of the 13 kilometer Ashaman Dual Carriage Road a day after protest against poor road infrastructure. And Josephine Frimpong was around when the whole um, incident occurred and joins me in the studio. Thanks for your time, Josephine. Welcome, Portia. A day after the clashes, you've been there. What did you see? Uh, Portia, today the the day looks very calm. The city is is cool. People are going about their duties very well. As it was, we reported yesterday that latrites and sand has mm. been put on the road. I went there. We saw it ourselves. It has been put. It's heaps of sand at the at the edges of the road to get it. We're moving. We saw earth moving equipments which are leveling the ground for works to to start and I caught up with the municipal chief executive Numa Dinoti Addison who told me that he was um, he was concerned about the residents plight and the drivers issue about the road and that he's going to make sure that he secures funds from government so that they can complete the work on schedule and he gave me by the close of the year that he's expected to finish that project by that time. Mm. What about the security situation? Is there tension in the area? No, it's it's rather relaxed. People mm. are going about their duties all right. I saw a few police people at vantage points and the military all right, but everything is cool. I spoke to the divisional police commander, David Eklu, chief superintendent, mm. David Eklu, and he told me that um, out of the 11 people they have arrested, four people have been screened out of the, that number and they'll be posted for courts they didn't retrieve any items from them all right and what happened yesterday through during the clashes some people about three people suffered some injuries there was one with a cut on the head and another with their toe and a few others and one police officer as well and he told me that all these three people are responding to treatment mm. very well now before you you continue we have a story by you and we understand that residents of Ashaman have welcomed the immediate resumption in the construction of the 13 kilometer Ashaman dual carriage way a day after the protest against poor road infrastructure 
And what were some of the concerns of drivers? In, in your report, I do gather they are scared of shoddy work being done. Yes, that was the key thing I picked up from them. They told me that it looks like probably it might be a, a night day wonder to them. They want the work to start and, and get it completed because it was one of the major roads for them. It, it is a link road to Ajay Kojo mm -hmm. down to the Akosombo, the Tema Akosombo Highway. So they were so interested that work should continue and be fully done for them. And what is the MC's commitment to the VAT? Uh, well, he is also committed and he wants, as I told you earlier, he wants to secure the hundred million dollars to co get it completed. But for now, he says he has spoken to the contractor to mobilize his equipment back on site and start briefly, tammy, temporarily, whilst he also pushed for the funds from government to get it done. Thank you very much for your time. We